Hello, my name is Ken Caveman. I have been invited to be your guide on your time travel adventure. I have been told that you have been listening to the questions that the landscapes have been asking you. By the way, if the land is really talking to you, and you are really listening, you might want to have that checked. Anyway, let me show you around. If it feels cold to you, it's because you have arrived during Alberta's last ice age. Most of Canada is covered with a sheet of ice up to three kilometers thick and mountain glaciers. These glaciers are changing the landscape with their mighty force. Glaciers are like rivers of ice flowing slowly across the landscape. The glaciers are carrying a whole train of rocks from Jasper all the way down the, the foothills of Alberta, a trip of hundreds of kilometers and dropping them off. This includes the big rock. The glaciers are carving the mountains into brand new shapes like a giant bulldozer. The glaciers are carving horns on your mountains, making some of them sharp and tall, pyramid shaped. Many of the mountain valleys in my time are narrow V-shaped valleys. The glaciers are carving them into wide U-shaped valleys. We better move forward in time to when the glaciers start melting. I'm getting a little bit cold. All this extra water is really going to change the landscape. It is dropping a whole lot of silt, sand and rock here and there, forming many new hills. The water is carving coolies all over the place. Blocks of ice are being left behind, and silt, sand and rock are being dropped, forming more hills. As the ice blocks melt, they are leaving donut hole shapes in and around the hills. Well, that's about all I know about the Ice Age and glaciers. It is time for you to head home. It was nice meeting you.